So when I was thinking about this, as I put this talk together a couple of weeks ago, I thought, well, what, what, what is the individual really going to want to know? What do I talk about? What do I like to hear from my patients if they're coming into my office of concerns that they may have? And what are some of the things that are behind that that occur inside the body, those changes that affect the individual as we all age. One of the things we're going to talk about is the five senses first and foremost and hearing being one of the big ones. So when we talk about that, hearing difficulties are something that definitely affect many, many people as they age. About 30% of people over the age of 60 have some form of hearing impairment and it goes up to about 50% of people when they get over 50. And why do we talk about this? Well, one of the big things is what does this do to the individual's socialization as they start to have hearing difficulties. Um, two different main things occur that cause those hearing difficulties as we age. The first one is that nerve can get less sensitive and the drum can get less sensitive. Plus, you also have a common issue where people will get problems with conduction of the actual sound from the outside to the drum because you got wax buildup. The eye, this is a very technical organ as well, needless to say. Basically, the way the structure of the eye is, you've got a cornea on the outside here, you've got a lens that's back inside there, and then you've got your retina along the inside and the back. And those are the big issues that get to be, tend to change as we age. Either the sensitivity of the retina can be adjusted, or there can be difficulty with the lens stretching and contracting to be able to see things, or there can be cloudiness of the cornea, and those are cataracts, glaucoma, and macular degeneration. Those are probably words you, and some of you may have heard in some time in the past. Things that will happen with taste and smell as we see up here, problems with the teeth are one other thing. Along with the nerves not having it, a lot of people will have difficulty with their teeth and they'll find that, well, when I chew it hurts. Or my dentures don't fit really well. Or, uh, uh, it, it, and then you throw that in with I can't taste things very well, it makes food not as enjoyable. Let's move on to bones and muscles. Bone thinning happens with time, and that's where osteoporosis comes in. But you also have difficulties with the joints as well as with the flexibility of the tendons and ligaments. And that decreased flexibility along with good old Uncle Arthur, the arthritic changes that occur, can cause a lot of pain and decreased mobility. As much as you can do to keep yourself active decreases the risk of you injuring those ligaments and nerves to keep yourself mobile and active. There's no absolute way to prevent bone and muscle changes other than to make sure you have the building blocks, vitamin D, calcium, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Few things to keep in mind. We already talked about fall prevention being important if you have osteoporosis or if you have musculoskeletal disorders. Um, no slip bath mats, shower seats in the shower to make sure. Be careful when you're in the bathroom more than anything else. A uh, big one is sturdy chairs and avoid the clutter on the floor.